In this video, you will see how to create a shared calendar in Outlook and how to share a calendar in Outlook. First, I will create a new calendar on Outlook then share it. Or you can share an existing calendar. This is the Outlook desktop application. I will go to the calendars. Later in this video, I will show the process for Outlook web version. Here under my calendars, I see all my calendars. To create a new calendar, right click on any of this calendar and select new calendar. Or you can create a new calendar with this add calendar option here. Click on add calendar and select this create new blank calendar option. I will add a name for the calendar. The calendar is selected here. I will see the new calendar under my calendars. I will click on OK. The calendar has been added to my Outlook. To share this Outlook calendar, right click on the calendar and select sharing permissions. This is the properties window of the calendar. Click on the add button. These are all the users inside your organization. To share the calendar with someone outside your organization, first you need to enable the calendar sharing using the Microsoft 365 admin center. Let me quickly show you the settings. This is my Microsoft 365 admin dashboard. Here I'll click on this show all option. Now I'll click on settings. Under settings, I'll select ORG settings or organization settings. In the services list, I'll select calendar. In my case, the external sharing is already enabled. If you have this option disabled, then enable it and set the permission level for the external users and save the settings. Now you can add any external users to your Outlook calendar. To add a user, select the user and click on the add button. Or you can type their email addresses. If you have multiple email addresses, separate them using semicolons and click on the OK button. You can set the permission for the users, like if they can only view the calendar or they can edit the calendar as well. I'll give this user edit permission. Finally, I'll click on the OK button. The other users with whom you have shared the calendar will receive an email. This is how the email looks. They need to click on the accept button. Now when they go to their calendars, they can see the shared calendar here. As I have provided the edit permission, this user can create new events to the shared calendar. To create an event, select the date and here I need to select the shared calendar. This is the shared calendar. I'll select this. I'll type a title for the event and I'll click on save button. And here I can see the events on the shared calendar. To create a shared calendar on Outlook web, go to the calendars. Here select add calendar. Here I'll select create blank calendar. Now I'll type a name for the calendar. I can select a color and I can select an icon and I'll click on save. So the new calendar is created and here I can see under my calendars. To share this new calendar on Outlook web, click on these three dots, click on sharing and permissions. I'll add the email of the user. I'll select the permission level, can edit and click on share. Now this user has received an email that someone shared a calendar with you. Click on the accept button to add it into the calendars. I'll go to calendars. Here when I scroll down under shared calendars, I see the new calendar TG. This is the shared calendar from the other user. You can watch this video if you need to synchronize your Outlook calendar events with your Google calendar. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.